Hey, my name's Lance Loisel. I play the sousaphone in the Low Down Brass Band. If you don't know what a sousaphone is, it's basically a marching tuba. So it's the bass of the band. I play through this A&R Resonance custom-made LDB mouthpiece. A&R Resonance is a mouthpiece company out of Italy. And uh, the whole band is sponsored by A&R Resonance. So um, it's been really cool to have um, the sponsorship, the mouth, mouthpiece makes it really much easier to play. Um, it's been kind of a game changer for all of us. So The way we were introduced to A&R Resonance was uh, a lot of guys in Chicago, um, close friends of ours, are uh, using the mouthpiece because there's two uh, representatives from the Chicago scene uh, that, uh, that distribute it and sell it. So um, that was introduced through that way. A couple of guys got the mouthpieces. Shane Jonas, our trumpet player, reached out to Antonio and kind of proposed the idea and, and like, a, you know, planted the seed and it grew from there. So I started playing the tuba in seventh grade. I played tuba in high school. I'm a drum and bugle corps. I met with the Cavaliers, the Star of Indiana. I am a band door through and through. So, um, and when I, uh, a lot of us in the band went to college together and after we all graduated, we started the brass band. I started really playing the sousaphone um, from them. So I'm gonna play a little bit for you. Put my mouthpiece in the lead pipe. <clears throat> so, if you don't know how brass instruments work, you have to buzz your lips to make the sound, and it gets amplified through here, and then you press, you, you do different valve combinations in order to get the sound, so. Uh, One of the unique things about the way that I uh, create the sound of the band is I, I don't want to sound like a tuba, I want to sound like a bass guitar. So I saw a couple of guys utilizing pedals when they gave me the idea, so I picked up this Boss ME208, uh, which is a bass multi-effects pedal. And I run basically, you can't see it under the, the towel, but under here is a Sennheiser vocal mic, which I wrap in a towel, gets rid of some of the high end, also makes it so when the, the mic is sitting down inside the horn and it bounces around, it doesn't bang on the sides. So it dulls the sound and, and it also um, gives the sound of, the, of a bass guitar. So run that microphone into the in, Right, and then I just basically run, it goes XLR to quarter inch, and then I've got um, basically an out that goes into the amp, which goes into the speaker. So the, uh, some of the main effects that I use, I use octave, um, I use delay, because we do a, a, a bit of dub reggae in the band, and then I have like a synth effect, uh, like a phaser or something that I use to give it some, some, some more flavor on some solos and stuff, so. The octave effect, this is the synth effect, and this is the delay, and so and I can combine them. I combine them, and bring the level up, and, and change the settings uh, um, as we go. So uh, the head is uh, a GK Gold Goldline 500. So it's got uh, it's got contour, treble, um, an EQ, and um, master volume. So this, the sound of the, pe the pedal is not that, uh, that hot, so sometimes I have to ride it pretty hard. Depends if I'm going through a large PA too, because this, whatever's coming out of here is, is pretty hot, but then the amp doesn't, it doesn't transfer that well because it's a microphone going into a quarter inch. So um, sometimes I have to push the amp, but again, if I'm running through a club system, I don't have to push it that high because they usually take a direct box between the pedal and the amp. So. It's a GK410 uh, MBX. So I'm going to demonstrate some of the different sounds you should get. Um, basically, I take the microphone and I just drop it inside, let it hang there. So the microphone's maybe, maybe you're like sitting right around here, which is a really good place for it uh, because that's kind of like the apex of the, the um, resonance of the sound. So <clears throat> you get uh, your basic. Um, no effects sound. Whoa. What? If I drop an 
active into it. This is really great for our hip hop stuff because we do a number of hip hop stuff too. on the delay there and get like a right so and then uh, one of the cool thing I do is like a like a uh, like a synth effect Thanks everybody for checking out my gear. My name is Lance Oysel of the Lowdown Brass Band. I'd like to thank a and Resonance for sponsoring the band and for being a part of the family. If you're ever in our area, come check out our music. We're on our socials, lowdownbrassband.com, at Lowdown Brass Band on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and... Bands in town. Bands in town. <laughs>